and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of our pick and ban standard. We are going to be practicing with these gauntlets with our three decks, Tarek Draven, Poros Give It All, and Midrange Frostbite, practicing for tomorrow. Last five games here of practice on stream, and uh, then we're going to have our seasonal tournament tomorrow, so that'll be a lot of fun. So here we go. Let's uh, just play five more games. So this is going to be a little bit of a different format than what the tournament is. You have your three decks, you pick and you ban one, but you, we're just playing best of one here instead of playing two out of three. So that's where it's going to be a little bit of a different format, but it's still good practice and we're learning a lot. And um, yeah, we'll be even more ready for tomorrow. Okay, interesting. So they got three champions with all of them. I think this one probably looks like the best deck, but I'm not sure. This this one could be troublesome as well. Um, and yeah, I, I don't really mind playing either one. I guess I've played more Taric Draven right now than Poros, so let's let's play some Poros. We've played Taric Draven twice. Let's play some Poros. All right, we got. Um, I'll just see. You know, like if this is like an Avalanche deck. Poros aren't great against Avalanche. I, I've mulliganed Give It All in the past and really regretted it. So I'm going to try keeping the Give It All this time. <clears throat> hmm. What a good draw. What a good draw. Poro Snacks came in right in time. The exact card I wanted to see. No, you you can you cannot have two decks with the same region combination. See, you can't have two for all your Piltover and Zon decks, for example. So you, you can't have just like three decks with you know basically the same deck, but just like a, a different champion. So unfortunately that this patch Borobot is fearsome, just like this other thing. But the thing about playing it, because if I if I don't play it then we waste all that mana. Um Yeah. Just play it out as fearsome. Fearsome's not looking bad for what my opponent's playing. Alright, one Vi down, we got a backup Vi. Here comes the punchline. Nice, they can't block either one. So I can throw energetic beam and kill the broadback protector. I'm not that worried about Broadback Protector. I with with having cards like Aurora Porealis give it all. These cards do require a lot of mana. Ooh, I like Spell Shield. I do like Spell Shield. I'm really hoping the Poro Herder draws a Daring Poro for me. Because so next turn I could go I go Vi right now, and then next turn I could go Poro Herder, draw Daring Poro, play Daring Poro, then play Give It All. I have the mana to do all of that. Yes, I did like the Rhyme Fang. Um, yes, I did like Rhyme Fang Wolf. It was good. Um, and yeah, mid range Frostbite was very good. Um, we're just. Um, we started doing some gauntlets after that. We we're just doing gauntlet practice. Because um, I am expecting the mid range Frostbite to get banned quite a bit tomorrow. But yeah, I, I was very happy with. Ramping Wolf. Uh -oh. 
Come on, Daring Poro. Mm, it's too bad. Fury. Because Daring Poro also costs one mana, right? So I, could, I have one extra mana with Give It All. I make shepherding look easy. No, didn't really miss the, the Captain Farron one time. There was one game where uh, Captain Farron would have been better than like uh, would have been better than than the other card. Uh, flash freeze. There was one game where Captain where uh, yeah, I wish I would have had Captain Farron, but but no, I was. I was very happy to have Prime Pinball. So the Give It All gave this Vi plus three, so whenever it goes back from the Flash Freeze, it's gonna be even larger. I should, I should have these switched. We want to kill the Poro Herder, keep the Poro alive. I should I should have these switched. Yeah, it was it was against Draven Ezreal. Against, I think I think that was the matchup. Draven Ezreal, I don't remember. I remember like they, they yeah, I think it was against Draven Ezreal where they like stabilized at one in the late game and Captain Farron would have helped us. So yeah, I, I definitely need to have the Poro Herder die and not not my Poro whenever I'm holding Aurora Porealis. Regeneration. You small or me big. Would you believe he won't fit in my hand? <laughs> Yeah, some matchups are going to be, like, Captain Farron's going to be too slow for some matchups, and I think, like, I'm not really planning on banning any aggro decks, so Captain Farron's going to be pretty slow against aggro decks. So that's why, that's why I think that's a good choice to take it out. Justice first hand. Hmm. <laughs> Trust me, they add up. All right, puts lethal. Back heretic. Now I just gotta play our other poor snacks that puts them back to one. And I think I think thirteen is the most that Vi can go because the give it all gives it the plus three extra. Double hush. Well, that's rude. The good news is they're just down to one card, and uh, therefore we should be just, we should be just fine. Got all these poros. They just have the one card. Regen. There's the elusive poro. Yeah, it should be this should be over. We'll go regeneration, Porobot. They need like oh, maybe that's what they need. Infinite Mind Splitter. Do they have Bastion to protect it? No. Okay. Three and three. Not the most difficult deck to, to play against. Stands for victory. All right, I kind of, I don't, I'm not really that scared of Karma Thresh, but I just want more practice against these two decks, to be honest. 
So let's play Terra Draven. I'm kind of guessing that we're going to face Ezreal Draven. Okay, now we're playing against some Gohard deck. That one's gone, that one's gone. Yeah. No, let's keep Precious Pet. I know it dies to go hard, but we have the attack token turn one. If they have go hard, oh well, they, they kill it. Is there ever a time where they don't have go hard? Is that ever a possibility? Okay, cool. So that um, the powder keg did nothing. Who's gonna get in my way? Yeah, this looks like the third go hard, right? Like how they thought about playing it, but didn't. So this this card right here is probably a third go hard. So they probably already have drawn three. They just started with three. Never lost a fair game, or played one. Blue as the serpentine. The party has arrived. So we'll six mana next turn. I could play Ballista and keep Might available, or we'll play Kato. How does Twisted Fate stay alive if I block with Draven? Do they have Vile Feast? Maybe it is Vile Feast. Maybe it's not Go Hard. Maybe that other card's Vile Feast. What time is it? I'm not sure why they would run Vile Feast. But, yeah, I have seen it. But, yeah, I don't know why, but I have seen people play it. Okay, so this this was the one that I thought was Go Hard. So no, I guess I guess that was Vile Feast. That one that I thought was Go Hard. So it was Vile Feast, and uh, they. Lives on. And they drew. So they drew the third Go Hard from the Twisted Fate blue card. Twisted Fate blue card drew a Go Hard. So it looks like we're in a ton of trouble. They've already had three go hards. A game. And then yeah, go now they just get to draw a bunch of cards. Folks. A game. Go on then. Watch the ball, folks. Even if they don't find it. A game. Go on then. Watch the ball. Just to if they level up. Looks like I'm on a hot streak. like you are on a hot streak. Twisted Fate. Blue as the serpentine. We were 3 and 0 against Go Hard the other day with Terra Draven. We're now going to be 0 and 2 against it. Today, like just in these videos with Terra Draven. Yeah, I mean this game's over. Huh. Alright, didn't cast go hard.
Really? They're doing that after combat? Dead in their tracks. And they have all these things they could have attacked with? After combat. It doesn't really matter when you have, Quite you know, all four, three Gohards immediately, and then triple Pool Shark to draw afterwards, and you also have your, you know, Twisted Fate that levels up. It doesn't really matter. I can do six additional points of damage. Which I'm guessing going to do. going to try to do. That would put them to three. I do have a Noxion Fervor in my deck, so maybe we draw a Noxion Fervor and can kill them, question mark? Yeah, or I guess Captain Farron, but Farron's probably a little too slow. We're probably dead by the time Farron decimates. Yeah, they, yeah they definitely have cards that can heal. Can't deal with that. You know, but yeah, they can just play another Go Hard or File Feast, Doom Beast. Soak it in. That was disgusting. That was disgusting. All right, both these decks are decks that like attacking. Frostbite's good against decks that like attacking. Maybe they should make Lulu a 2-4. You know, give it like Laurent Protégé stats. Yeah, that's what they should do for Lulu. We made it, Rip. I want to go home. Zoom! Yeah, that's that's definitely a reasonable deck to ban for sure. The uh, Go Hard deck. Absolutely. Young Witch. I guess I'll try killing the picks. Four picks. Just get eaten by this nasty wolf. That wolf is pretty scary. I'm doing good, Mukton. How are you doing? Yeah, I, I like my Go Hard matchup with the decks that I'm playing, so I'm, I'm kind of doing that with the anti Go Hard lineup. But uh, it doesn't mean you're always going to win. You know, like it's like there's still variants. There's not there's no decks that beat Go Hard 100% of the time or anything like that.
Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. Hmm. Guess I should have led with Glory Seeker. I guess I should have played Glory Seeker last turn instead of playing Rhyme Pink Wolf. I did, you know, like mana wise. Um, but yeah, you know, now they get to protect that. Victory requires a sharp blade. I'll cut them apart. Face me. I mean, because I can't, I can't like really block it all. I don't, I don't think that that was a good turn to, to just burn the mana like that. They have great attacks with those support cards. This thing's gonna be a five power unit for good now, as far as reckoning is concerned. Assessor. Winter take you. Could see them playing another thing to block. They want to use the help picks to protect Lulu. Picks make perfect. Um. Yeah. Could have denies in hand. They sure do. So hopefully they don't have the same protection as far as um, you know, keeping Lulu alive. No, they can. Well, that's not so great. But I have like the little three one that can do some blocking. Line up. Yay, brittle seal. We swim within the flows of magic. A true Falyorian welcome. Unfortunately, these things are gonna be like four fours. So I'm not gonna be able to br brittle steal them. Keep going! Break yourselves! Okay, so they're making the river shaper real big. If it's a fight they want. I know a challenge when I see one. Stay back. All right, we'll take that. Uh, I guess. I guess we use that. No, haven't changed the lineup. Still going with the same one. But we'll be going with tomorrow. Having some fun. I I feel like maybe I should be playing like Shen Fiora instead of the Poro deck. But I want to just keep it the same. After, after playing like all those games with the Poro deck yesterday. Bow to no one. Picks make perfect. The balance requires. 
requires a watchful eye. Patience. Okay, let's see. Bristle, attack! I'll cut them apart. You're mine. Arrows at the ready. Face me. All right, time to attack. Get him, Pits. All right, GGs. So we've been beating the random decks. That's what we have been beating. All right, let's not play against that deck. Poros against Field of Rush. Nah, I gotta play Frostbite against Field of Rush. So I think I'll keep one Culling Strike to go with Ice Veil Archer, or do we possibly keep both Culling Strikes to go with Ice Veil Archer? No, I'll just keep one. Because obviously it's a, a late game combo. Okay, well I guess we got double Ice Veil Archer Culling Strike combo. Trundle's a four five. Thought me smell something. I'm through waiting. Face me. Oh, got use out of a brittle steel. That's good. I want to play the glory seeker first in case they were gonna play the weirding stones card. So their flash freeze turned into a, a troll scavenger. Which I'm not really mad at that. Flash freeze is pretty powerful. Faster than my arrow? I think not. I just want to—I want to save Icefield Archer to kill bigger things that are more important. Hello. 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 Me here and ready for fight. Huh. Now whole hunting party. Three five regeneration, man. They are all about these trolls. So they can't feel the rush with all these things in play. That's a plus. We hunt them down. I can kind of just set up a kill. Yeah, I mean they're just they just can't even cast Field of Rush. Assuming they're a Field of Rush deck. We definitely know that they have a card that costs eight plus because of these uh, troll scavengers, or just all these trolls, how they've been beholding. So we definitely know they have something that costs eight plus. Where's my lunch? We hunted for you. Is at two. So 
So the problem, like, yeah, I could Reckoning, but like, let's say I go Reckoning, then they go Feel the Rush. I guess that's still good for me. Yeah, with Rhyming Wolf and Ice Feel Archer, I guess that's good for me. Sejuani. Gives Ash a free attack. You frostbite that thing. You're mine. I've got meat bigger than you. Can't hurt trolls. Found you. Can't feel the rush this turn, of course, because they only have nine mana. Here and ready for fight. Huh. Now, whole hunting party here. Babbling Bjerg, you're pretty cool. Little's cross easy. Now we go. Huh. Looks like an avalanche to me. Yep. Definitely looks like Avalanche to me. This is our homeland. Gods. Up there in the mountains. Harvey's <laughs> rolling around. What will you have? Hmm. So we know they still have the one card that the card they're beholding. So they know that we know that one of those two is something that costs A plus mana. I mean, I think we can do 20 damage here. Let's see if they have like Will of Ionia or something. We know we know one of them is something that costs eight plus mana, and we think the other one's Avalanche. So yeah, like if, if it was Avalanche and then the other one's eight plus mana, that means you know like, they're not having anything to stay alive. I was <laughs> like, I was, I had my fun rolling around. Now for time for me to uh, lay down. All right, let's get rid of this Anivia deck. Okay, I think Tarek Dra we're gonna go Tarek Draven here. Because whenever we played those 20 games, we were 3-0 and against Go Hard, and we were 3-1 and against Fearsome. And so, it's Go Hard and Fearsome. We're gonna play this. Now, a little bit ago, we did just lose to Go Hard. Cool, like that Captain Farron. Learns to not mulligan Culling Strike in this matchup. Keep Culling Strike because Twisted Fate level up. Um, that's definitely a way to lose Twisted Fate level up. Super scary. This is a good practice game. Yeah, and the the frost the frost I played it whenever I played against it with Frostbite, I mullig I did mulligan. Pulling strike and um, yeah, re deeply regretted it. And because then, even just thinking like Glimpse Beyond, that's another good card to have Cooling Strike against. So, we're gonna curve out. Sometimes I, I don't curve out and keep mana available, but I think I'm gonna just, uh, curve out. 
Yep, yep, yep. I, I have learned to not mulligan a pulling strike. Beauty and life. Yeah, you can play some Teemo decks. They're not as competitive, but they yeah, Teemo decks are yeah, they are so much fun to play. Um, how you're saying you're having fun playing them in expeditions, and they're so rewarding to play, right? Like any any time you win a game with a Teemo deck, it's it feels great. So yeah, I, I really like playing Teemo decks. You pay first. Alright, so just cancelled out that go hard that they played. With gem. Deal me in. Blue as the serpentine. Very glad we have Culling Strike. Because during during these uh ten gauntlet games, we have lost to Go Hard twice, and it's both of them have been Twizzy Fate level ups. here to try to stop that. Are they going to have another Twisted Fate that they go gold card and kill Iron Ballista with that? Hmm. This glimpse beyonds. So basically... You know, wondering if I should proactively gem, but I don't. I don't think so. I think I just keep transfusion available. Three, four, five, six, seven. Let me attack. Let me attack. Ooh, they're gonna let me attack. Okay, so right now, Tarek's at three. So, uh, to level up Tarek, we need to attack like this. And we need to cast Transfusion. I don't really know how I'm casting this Transfusion, I guess. We go this way. So that goes to Tarek to five, the Kato is six, the gem is seven. So that will have Kato, or that will have, so Kato levels up the Tarek before Tarek does its ability. So that's the way I can get the, they can't take damage or die. All right, so that's 17 Overwhelm, where they can't take damage or die. Why are you here? AKA, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, you can do some cool stuff with Out of the Way, but it's Out of the Way is not going to be as competitive. Alright, they went. They really wanted to heal their Nexus. I think we need Culling Strike to spray fin. Oh. Well, I guess I could have played around that by not throwing these things out there. But I got Captain Fair next turn, so. We should still be fine. Okay, yeah, you're making Vladimir with Bilgewater Legion Veteran stuff. Yeah. And Citrus Courier, cool. I have I've played a deck just like that a couple of times. I played it with, with Misfortune also, and uh, I called it Vladimir's Fortune. I'll show you those.
Well, that was the best card for them to have. No, I, I called it Vladimir's Fortune. Alright, so that one's from November 26th. This one's from November 14th. So this was the first version. The first version I had the, um, that Legion Veteran that you, that you talked about. But I think I took out Legion Veteran in the second version. I think I ended up cutting that afterwards. Like a fish in water. <laughs> Alright, Decimates. Yeah, they just tossed a Withering Whale. Wow, they had the third Withering Whale. Well, keeps them alive till my next Decimate. Good job, Captain Baron. Okay, so keep Culling Strike so you can kill Twisted Fate. Gotta be able to do that. Okay, so these are gonna be our three decks for tomorrow. Taric Draven, Poros Give It All, Midrange Frostbite. I've, um, I'm a little worried about the Poro deck. Very confident in the other two. Um, but this is what, what I wanted to play. Poros are a lot of fun. I want to um, give it a chance and uh, you know try it out here with this seasonal tournament. Um, so that'll be a lot of fun. That's what we're gonna be doing tomorrow. Those of y'all uh, watching this later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and let me know how it went because by the time you're watching this one, we'll probably uh, during the seasonal tournament, I think whenever this video will be going up. So let me know how, um, you know, how you did in your tournament and everything like that. And of course, I'll be posting each match up there on YouTube as well. All right. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, hope you hit that like button, leave those comments, all that kind of stuff. And I will see you for the next video.